Que rollo, Pony Puma Joy Seekers, welcome back to a very nerve-wracking video. Probably one of the craziest videos that I'm going to be uploading on this channel. Um, I really don't have any words. Um, yeah, I just have to tell about the title of the video. Just sit back, grab some popcorn, and enjoy this nerve-wracking video. Everyone's making me feel like they're putting a lot of pressure on me. I feel like everybody wants a boy, and don't get me wrong, um, I would love a boy as well. Um, but at this moment, all I care about is, is just that my baby is born nice, healthy, beautiful, and that's about it, you know, because I really don't care if it's a boy or a girl. Um, but yeah, a boy would be, don't get me wrong, you know, I'm more on the boy side, but don't get me wrong. Um, but it is what it is, and I'm just really, really excited. Also, one more thing, I feel like when I had my daughter, I was a little bit younger, so I, I, I feel like I didn't really enjoy her as much as I should have. Um, you know, so I kind of like... Um, I guess you can say now I'm ready. I'm ready for this uh, second child. I'm ready like to actually, I don't know if you guys get what I'm trying to say, you know? But yeah, so that's why I feel like uh, I'm just happy regardless whether it's a boy or a girl. I'm just happy with God that it gives me an opportunity to have another kid because believe it or not, um, some people can't have kids, um, you know? Some people don't make it two kids, all that good stuff, you know? But I'm just really, really excited. I promise you guys, I'm really, really excited. Um, I can't wait. And yeah, no, I have no words. So right now we're just gonna get all my family's um, reaction. What do they think, team boy, team girl? Okay, so we're gonna start off with my beautiful daughter right here. We're gonna ask her what she thinks we're gonna have. So what do you think uh, we're gonna have? Are you team boy or team girl? Team girl. Team girl? Why, is there a specific reason or no? No, you just wanna play with the girl, not a boy? All right, so she's team boy. I already said no. She's team girl. She's team girl. I'm team boy. Somebody's nervous. Next to my, my sister next. Oh my god. I think it's gonna be a girl. I would like a boy, but I don't think it's gonna be a girl. I think it's gonna be a girl. I would like a boy just because we don't have any boys in this family other than Jerry and the in laws that came into the family, but no boy close. So. I also would like a boy because I'm the tomboy of the family. And if you guys haven't noticed, I do most of the manly things around here. <laughs> um, but I'm team girl because I think it's gonna be a girl. So los jeans, the jeans como que los jeans que carga mi, mi mamá uh -huh. son más como de, de girls, you know, uh -huh. so the jeans Casi are very strong. Yeah, because I'm the only, I was the only winner, and hey, we get a junior, he's going to be the winner too. Aunque fuera, yeah, so, on, 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 on. aunque si fuera niño, pues sería mejor, ¿verdad? Porque ya tenemos muchas niñitas, yeah. un niñito sería, pues bienvenido, pero también la niña también es bienvenida. Pero acuérdense que no pasa nada, si es niña, le, va, le vamos a seguir hasta que nos salga el niño. I always said this since I was small, and I promise you guys, I mean, if God allows me to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand my, my ground, and I'm gonna keep going until I have a boy. They always tell me like, are you sure? What do you have like eight, six, seven? I don't give a shit. We're going until we get a junior. Hi guys. So I think that it's gonna be a girl. Well, I, no. I'll be happy with if it's a boy or a girl, but I think it's gonna well, you be- you don't have an option. I think, I think it's gonna be a girl. Why? Just no reason? Why not? <laughs> I'm team boy because we do need another boy in this family. Good job. So I'm team, team boy. I had to think about it. Yeah, I'm team boy. Um, I don't know. I had a strong feeling since day one that I don't know it's going to be a boy. Um, I do want a little boy, um, little nephew for once I can go shopping in the little boy section. I always dream of that since I don't plan on having any more, so let my brother do the job, and I just have him take care of the baby. But either way, happy team girl, oh, team boy. Know. I'm excited. We haven't had a baby in the family, so you know, like I said, we're excited to spoil the baby, and we can't wait a couple more weeks. So, team boy. I think it's gonna be a girl because everybody said this one was gonna be a boy, but I knew it was gonna be a girl. So. Also, he's a child whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> also, also guys, I forgot to throw in a couple of more um, fun facts. We haven't had a baby in a good five years. My daughter is the last one. Obviously, we only have three girls, like we mentioned earlier. My daughter is, has been the last one. It's been five years. 
So um, everybody's like, all my sisters are saying that like, you know, the family already needed another another kid. Um, they're ready, you know, because we haven't had a little baby in five years, and five years is a long time, you know. But I decided to break the streak, and here I am with my second child, and we're ready to keep going. All right, so also we got my my other brother-in-law. So what do you think, or what do you, what team are you? I'll say team boy, just because there's no boys, and you need someone to carry on the family name. And then also, um, they're actually gonna be having kids soon too, so we'll see what what, what they end up having as well. I know you guys don't normally see this type of stuff on my channel, but it is currently five in the morning. Way too early, way too early. For me at least, for you guys it's probably normal. But yeah, I actually got woken up about one hour ago exactly. Um, you know, baby mama was telling me that she couldn't hold it, she couldn't hold it, that that was it, like, you know? Baby number two, baby number two is ready to come out. I was like, man, you're tripping. And they're like, no, like, this is for reals. So right now we're currently headed to the hospital. Um, but I just kind of want to record the whole journey, you know? So, so I can have something to look, look back at. But yeah, we're out here zooming and stuff. I'm really, really hungry though, so I make I might make a quick stop to get a donut. You guys already know the boy Jerry too, you gotta eat, you know? But yeah, I'm, honestly, I'm really, really scared. Really, really scared. Um, of the hospital i don't know why i feel like i'm more scared this time than i was when i had my first daughter you know um, as i always mentioned to you guys i hate hospitals i hate the doctors i hate all this stuff it really ain't for me but uh yeah you know this is this is this is grown-up stuff that's just stuff you can't just put to the side and ignore so you gotta amarrarse un huevo si estuviera mi jefa aquí me diría eso yeah, ladies and gentlemen, the problem is um, the hospital is one hour away from from our new house, you know, and you guys are probably like, what the hell, like, there ain't a hospital closer? Well, um, my baby mama doesn't want to go to no other hospital, but a certain one, so I guess it is what it is, so that's what I'm doing. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, right now, I think we're actually gonna pick up a Gompa Lalo as well because you guys already know Gompa Lalo has to always be there with the boy Jerry Tweak. But no, he's not gonna be there in the room or whatever, tampoco, eh? Yeah, he's my right, he's my right hand man, but not on that level. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see, well, I'll keep you guys updated right now exactly what happens. I guess it's been a total of 12 hours. I don't know, we started this vlog. Unfortunately, I couldn't really keep up with it. Things got hectic. Um, things didn't really go as planned. For me recording, you know, it seemed much easier once I put it in my head, you know, that I'm gonna go ahead and um, try to record everything, record the process, all this stuff. And it was nothing like that. Um, you know, thank God everything turned out pretty good though. Nothing, nothing went wrong. Um, and yeah, now, now we're celebrating. You know, I got my baby right here right in front of me. Look what they brought us. They brought us a, a dinner meal. Congrats on your new arrival. We're gonna be eating some bow tie pasta with marinara sauce and sliced vegetables. It's a celebration meal. It's served with green salad, garlic bread, dessert, sparkling ginger, and milk. Check it out. Like, we're gonna be popping bottles out here. You know. But yeah, guys, I honestly, I, I can't be any more happier. One, because everything went so smooth. And two, you know, my, my second child is born and, and she's just complete. She's just, she's a beautiful baby. Um, and I, I, I don't know where, you know, I'm really, really happy and blessed with the man from above. And yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just um, start feasting it up because I'm pretty hungry. Shout out to my compa Lalo as well, guys. He's a real one. As you guys saw, I had my daughter earlier with me and due to all these COVID rules and stuff, they weren't allowing her to come up. And so my, it sucks because my daughter still hasn't met her sister. And uh, that's honestly, that, that bums me out. You know, I talked to my daughter earlier on the phone. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and answer the clip here. You guys are about to see her reaction.
I don't know if you guys caught on to that, but to be honest, my little daughter, she looked a little bit like out of it. Like, I, I feel like she doesn't know what to feel. I feel like she's a little bit jealous. She's like confused, you know? You guys saw her reaction, you know? But yeah, it's hurting me because since I don't have the vaccine um, for the COVID, I can't go in and out. So I, I'm forced to stay in the room. Because once I get out, I can't come back inside. So it's hurting me because I can't, like, I want to hug my, my other daughter, you know, and, and let her let her know that, that, you know, that I love her as well. I don't want her to feel jealous or feel a type of way, you know, which I'm pretty sure isn't the case. But, you know, this is on YouTube. She probably has a million things going down her head, through her head, especially since she's like a little one, you know, they don't really know what to be. But yeah, it's hurting me that I can't really hug her and um, tell her how I feel. But it's okay. If all goes good, we should be out of here in less than 24 hours on the labor or whatever it's called was only like a total of contractions, whatever it was, it, it only took about three hours. So everything, like I said, went pretty fast and smooth. And then my new daughter, they're doing really, really good. If they keep it up, we should be here in less than 24 hours. So, you know, I think we're gonna be spending the night here and then uh, I'll probably continue the vlog later once we make it out the hospital. Um, we only got like about what, what is it? I wanna say another uh, 12 more hours to go. So we're good, so. So we're just coming out. My daughter is ready. <laughs> I guess it's been a total of about 32 hours. We were in there for about a day and a half. It is currently about 2 p.m. Two days later, I guess, kind of. And like I said, my daughter couldn't go inside to see me or to see um to see her new sister. And she was so excited. She hugged me. She said she missed me. You know, I missed her too. So we already made it out the hospital on the whole car ride. Um, I told my daughter that we had to keep it a secret that she couldn't see her. She was already trying to peek at her little uh, porta de bebe, whatever it's called. However you say it in car seat. However you say it in English, I think it's car seat. She was trying to peek and the baby was crying in the car and my, my daughter was all like excited. But yeah, so right now you guys are about to get her reaction for the first time seeing her in person because she's already seen her in FaceTime and uh, and uh, pictures. So let's let's see. <laughs> My daughter is about to feel, one of my daughters is about to feel the real breeze of the world, California, because it's freaking hot, man. We were in the hospital, didn't feel like it, but you ready? She's so tiny, huh? This is where life has put us, guys. Two beautiful daughters at the age of 24. But we're gonna go inside right now because this heat is ridiculous. You don't remember when you used to be this small? No? <laughs> she looks like a little Barbie, huh? You wanna carry it inside? Or are you scared? <laughs> you're just scared. That is sister love right there, ladies and gentlemen. Love at first sight. <laughs> 